Hi Poopoos, it's Nessa Poo, Queen of Cups Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already liked, share, and subscribed, please do so now. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for love for June 15th through the 30th. Let's find out what the T is for my Aquarius baby. Ooh, that was fabulous. Your card, light. Something y'all see bright or healing. That's too many. I'm just going to take this one right here. Destiny. Ooh, things going in your favor, the will of fortune. Something you see real bright. Y'all readings. Oh, and I don't never really get negative readings on y'all. We have solar, solar plexus chakra. Some of you guys need to check that out. Find out. Maybe it's blocked for you. We're going to clarify, but some of you guys need to check it out. Your solar, uh, your solar plexus chakra is right here between your um, heart chakra and your uh, sacral chakra. So some of you guys may be a little blocked. On your uh, solar plexus chakra, but let's clarify. You know, spirits and guys, Archangel Michael, why is light here? Thank you. Fast making a decision on something. What are you guys making a decision on? Or are you making a decision? Ooh, six of wands. Okay, the Queen of Cups. Then we got the Wheel of Fortune again, right here. Okay. Y'all making a decision. This gonna be victorious. Hmm. Strength card, and you're being very, very strong with it. Very strong. Someone's making you happy. <laughs> Why is destiny here? Why is destiny here? Queen of Swords, your energy. I don't feel like you cutting someone up. Oh. Okay, look, y'all. I don't know who making y'all happy or who y'all sitting up here giving some, getting some good good from. But the Ace of Wands, very passionate, very, um, a lot of sexual activity, sexual passion for someone. Or you're just very passionate about someone that is truly making you happy. Whatever you guys did, you are on the right path. Very proud. Very proud. Okay, that flipped. Spe Look, y'all ain't playing. Y'all car again. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. It flew all the way up here. Y'all needed this message. <laughs> Knight of Wands, you guys are taking complete action. Very passionate action towards someone. Why solar places? Shocker here. Okay, so going through a transformation ending. Okay, so you ended something and something rebirthed. Could have been with a family, someone you have a family with, someone you walked away from. Okay, all right. Okay, spirit. It's a lot of cards. Sorry, guys. Yeah. 
getting on my nerves a little bit. Okay, sorry guys. Much better. Oop. Yeah, so you guys may have decided to work something out with someone, work on a relationship with someone that ended once before and started back up. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, ten of pentacles. Okay, so some of you guys are really on your coins. And some of you guys see long term with someone. And this person is really making you happy. drifting off because I'm seeing some of this ten of pentacles yeah this is someone you see long term with or you guys have been with this person for a very long time I thought a car flipped over well you've been with this person for a very long time you see Family, commi uh, long commitment, marriage with this person. Well, this person see it with you, a card did flip over. Courtship. You're with this person. Or you want to be with this person. Yeah, you could live with this person. Or want to live with this person. So we have family. We have family room. And harbor. Yeah, you guys are definitely working on this distant horizon. So some of you guys could be at a distance with this person. And now you want to move with this person to make things more official. Or you guys could be feeling like you don't want to be at a distance anymore. So now it's time for you guys to move with someone or live with someone. Because we have family house here. I mean family room here. really taking someone serious so yeah so this person could be at a distance and because we have um worth worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life try to pull one more card Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you might want to be, you know, waiting on this person because this is worth it. Make the effort. This person wants the same thing you want. Finally, you guys have someone that's on the same page. Yay for my Aquarius. Because you guys are so much focused on... Um, your finances, you guys won't even stood um love really. No need.
need to worry is at the bottom of the deck. So we have perfect timing. It's the perfect timing for you and this person. We have in the near future. Yeah, you guys could be marrying this person. Okay, we have let go here, but I feel like let go is more of let go of control issues or let go of any worries and be assertive is here. I want to clarify let go, but I kind of feel I let go is here. Why is let go here? Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> your, your card. I'm going to pull one more card. Some of you could be um, being very impatient. Please let go of control issues because something is moving too slow for you. So some of you guys want to walk away from something. But like it's saying, it's worth waiting for. Some of you guys are getting too impatient about something. Maybe this person is moving too slow and you want to rush in. But this Divine timing is definitely here because the um, Tempest car wanted to pop out, which is divine timing and patience. So please have patience with this person. They might want to take it slow. They might want to take it slow with you. Okay, let's take that one. Let's that flipped out. Okay, Moon in Sagittarius, number 21, Discovery, Freedom, and Adventure. Child, at the bottom of the deck some of you guys could be dealing with Aries some of you guys could be dealing with Sagittarius or Pisces or Gemini or Sagittarius again so we have Sun and Sagittarius number 9 adventure stride out into new territory be patient just be patient yeah you guys are definitely having thoughts of should I stay or should I go because we have Moon and Gemini number 15 indecision should I stay or should I go so I don't think you guys should um, let this connection go. Um, sun in Pisces, number 12, higher purpose. Align yourself with love and wisdom. So, yeah, just chill. This person is on the same um, page as you. I'm sorry. Um, we have Moon in Aries, number 13, courage. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. It's, it's going to come. It's divine time. It's okay. <clears throat> what advice do I have for my lovely Aquarius, Summer, Rising, and Venus for love? So June 15th through the 30th.
We have to be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. We have love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Told you, chill. This person's on the same page as you. Don't be impatient. Sensitive um, emotions. Time to heighten emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Open your emotions. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to abundance of help and opportunity. Ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Here it is right here. I told you this person is on the same page as you. Stop being impatient. Some people want to move slower than others so they can see this is what they really want to do. Especially if this is a connection that you just came back into. This person might not want to go back down the same road that you guys went down before. So just be patient with this person. Well, if this is for the cross watcher, then you need to be patient with an Aquarius. But this is all that I have for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Hope you guys come and visit again. If it resonated, drop comments down in the comment section. If you like the book, a personal reading with me, everything's in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hope to see you guys again. Bye, boo-boos.